Okay, so this is the desktop. We do not have full monitor support yet because we have not installed the NVIDIA web driver, but here's monitor one and here's the second. This is the third monitor here. And this will be cleared up once we install the NVIDIA web driver. Okay, so we're ready to install the NVIDIA web driver. So let's go ahead to uh, TonyMacX86.com. Probably should have downloaded it earlier, but I didn't think about it. And once again, you'll need an account. If you do not have one, you should create one. Otherwise, you cannot download. And they have it all cat categorized, nice and neat for you. Okay, uh, which version? A good question about this Mac. Okay, 10.12.4. Okay, we didn't do the update yet, so let's go ahead and grab this uh, Mac OS 10.12.4 Sierra. So download that NVIDIA web driver for this version. And the cool thing, now, now that we're in the clo world of Clover, we can, in theory, do minor system updates without creating havoc, and it should reboot um, normally, like a regular Mac. And that's where, earlier in the video, I showed you in the boot timeout section to set it to zero so and your default drive so it'll automatically reboot to that drive after a system update and if you do have any errors you may have to reboot a couple of times um, for it to actually kick in and then you have uh, a normal system again but uh, anyway that's downloaded so let's go ahead and quit our browser and let's install the nvidia web driver continue continue agree and install enter your admin password Continue the installation, and that's going to go ahead and uh, do its thing. Okay, the installation was successful. So I'm going to go ahead and change views here. I'm going to switch to another camera so you can actually see that we have full monitor support. Okay, if you take a look now, we have full graphic support. I have my three monitors, one, two, and... Here's my third one here. All right, good to go. Okay, so you saw we have multiple monitor support. I have three monitors connected to this graphics card. And you'll see the NVIDIA logo here at the top here. And if for any weird reason, this is checked and you're not gonna have your full monitor support. So go ahead and select the NVIDIA web driver there. It may pop up like that sometimes by accident, um, but generally you set it once and forget it. Go ahead and enter your admin password again and then it will prompt you to reboot so that's it for the nvidia web driver thanks for tuning in please remember to like and subscribe below and if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them and i try to get back to everyone as quickly as possible thanks we'll see you